Happy September. It's Suzanne Wilkerson, North Carolina Master Gardener, again here today to talk about beneficial insects. Today we're going to focus on the praying mantis, and very specifically we're going to focus on uh, how you introduce those into your garden. So I'm going to open up this little butterfly house, uh, which is a guess this house is just beneficial, so if you want one, don't plan on getting butterflies from it, but it is a good safe place to put your praying mantis. So let's start off today by taking a look at what a praying mantis cocoon looks like. So here's an example of a praying mantis cocoon. You can see uh, they typically put their web on a branch somewhere. You can buy these at local garden stores or online. And what I did in the spring was I put one of these little cocoons into my butterfly house here. I also put them in various garden spots in the yard so that I could start a nice batch of uh, praying mantis. Okay, so you might say, well, why do I want these praying mantis? And you might have even heard good or bad things about the praying mantis. So I'm going to tell you a few of the benefits. I'm also going to walk you over to show you that after those praying mantis are born, um, I typically introduce them in my garden um, in the late spring or early summer when the temperature in your area stays around 70 degrees. And I'm going to take you over now because we have one, and it's currently September here in North Carolina, and ours has gotten to a mature size. So what we're going to do now is take a look at what that uh, praying mantis looks like when it's mature. The praying mantis has a very big appetite, so it's fortunate that it's also an accomplished hunter. These garden uh, help farmers and gardeners eat moths, mosquitoes, roach, flies, and aphids, as well as small rodents in the fields and gardens. The praying mantis has a very big appetite, so fortunate it's an accomplished hunter. The praying mantis will feed on moths at night and is the only known predator to do so. This large insect is also the only predator that is quick enough to catch mosquitoes and flies, not counting spiders, of course, who do that and accomplish that same goal within their web. So I want to take you out and see, and these uh, praying mantis will get to be about six inches at height. But this little guy is probably about two and a half inches right now. He's over here on my fence, and he's been keeping my pro my garden safe. Uh, he's one of a few that live here. Uh, I haven't given him a name, but he certainly is a terrific guy in my garden. So I wanted to let you know the benefit of these praying mantis. I strongly recommend anyone who wants a very healthy garden, who wants to enjoy their produce, their flowers, and of course their beautiful trees um, in a way that is healthy and beneficial. Uh, these particular, this particular insect probably won't fare well if you're doing a lot of insecticide spraying, uh, if you're using Roundup, etc. So if you're the organic gardener and you want to go the healthy pesticide free way and yet still enjoy the benefits of a beautiful garden and a wonderful outburst of fruits, vegetables, herbs, I suggest you go this way. Thanks for coming in and seeing us again today. Suzanne Wilkerson saying goodbye.